Hello everyone and welcome back to Sorky Farmstead. So you guys know how I feel about store-bought and bagged feed. I like myself, I mean, me like everyone else, has had to use it in the past, but I don't trust it. Especially after the no eggs are being laid scare of 2023, right? So I just don't trust it, you guys. I don't know about y'all, but there's been so much in the news lately about the way they lie to us and the foods and things they put in our food that it's not even food anymore. It's a fake food. And I wonder with the pet food industry, the regulations are so much less strict that I worry that they're not going to care about my animals. If they don't care about us, if human life is so worthless to all these people, they're not worried about our animals and we know they want to depopulate us we know that all right so steven and i you're gonna see in this video started making our own pellets unfortunately we made our base material too wet so i made a big pellet just now and we're gonna feed it to the chicken see how they like it throw that in there well i can say this you guys so far it's a hit you guys like that? You're very welcome. Yeah, so this has comfrey. Let's see, um, you can't put your big head. So that has comfrey in it. Move, doodle. Move. All right, so this has comfrey, eggshells, fish oil, uh, wheat, and corn. Oh, and it's got um, ground up trombosini squash in it. Of course, I grew that squash here, so I know in my heart that it is completely organic. So basically, I'm just feeding them like super-sized cake meal right now. Because like I said, we accidentally got it too wet. But if you'll watch the rest of the video, we're going to talk to you about what we use to make this feed. And, you know, whether or not we like the pelletizer and some of the things we did wrong, some of the things we did right. And uh, this is the last input cost that I had. And we have officially gotten rid of it for 2024, as long as I can figure out how to actually make it pellet. Because that's where we just kind of ran into a snag. And I have to be able to feed the rabbits pellets because they don't do real well. Like, they'll do okay with grains and scratch grains and stuff, but my, um, my rabbits won't. You know what I'm saying? Even the dog likes it. How you like it, ladies and gentlemen? Is it good stuff? All right, so Stephen is running the barley through right now, through the meal. So we've got the corn and the barley mixed up and we're gonna add our salmon oil, our ground up trombosini squash and our eggshells to this mixture, you guys, to see if we can get it wet enough to go ahead and pelletize it. Okay, guys, so the ingredients for the laying hen feed pellet that we're gonna make today, corn, 55.7%. You need to add um, a little bit of soybean cake. Now, to be honest with you guys, soybean is extremely high in estrogen. And they're actually kind of linking it in a few of the studies that I've seen to be part of the reason why we have such a high infertility rate in males across the world. I'm skipping the soybean. I don't think they need it. Ours get so many extra proteins that most chickens don't with the red wigglers and stuff that are already in their pen from us composting in it. I'm just going to assume they're going to be okay without the soybean. But they do want you to do a wheat or a barley at eight and five percent so we're gonna go with the um the wheat we're gonna mix that together i'm gonna do like a 12 percent on that then they want you to use shale meal don't have it bone meal don't have it so i use crushed eggs instead now i am gonna go get a little bit of salt and add it to that following the recipe it's gonna ask you for like fish oil or cod oil Guys, I didn't have any of that. So what I'm using is a salmon oil 
dog food topper that we use here for our dogs. I'm just gonna add that in, okay. So this is gonna help the whole pellet that we're making stick together. So I used the tops of the trombosini squashes, which are the long skinny parts, with about eight eggshells, a little bit of water, and now the salmon oil. I'm gonna mix this up, and I'm gonna mix it in with the corn and wheat that we're gonna be using to make the chicken pellets. So that's cup two of our mixture of the trombosini squash and the fish oil and the eggshells. Yeah, it's still a little dry, so we'll add some more water. And leave it alone, y'all. Because it does have a test to tell you if it's too wet or too dry to go to the pelleter. And I'll explain that test to you in just a second. Now, to add some more nutrition to our chickens, I grow comfrey, and comfrey is a powerhouse of calcium and potassium, iron, and even copper. So I've been drying comfrey for the winter. So I'm gonna go over here real quick. I'm gonna dry mill it into the concoction that my husband is mixing. There is my milled comfrey, okay? And it's not milled that great, but... It'll be just perfect for, for this. For the first time, it's working. Yeah, it is. And so, like I said, comfrey, it's just... It's going to cover the basis for me, making sure that I'm giving the, my chickens the very best nutrition that I can. We made our mixture too wet. So we're not actually getting pellets. Hand me a handful of that, babe. I mean, it kind of looks like tiny pellets, but unorganized. Look like it could be pig sock. Yeah, like, yeah. Hold on, let me turn so it So it looks like this. And we'd like it to be a, a little bit better than that. I mean, I can see the shape coming. It is fruition. what it is. We just first, that's the first time we've tried this. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and feed that out to the chickens now. I think it's it's fine. Um, I want to try something. But, else. you know, it is a little bit too wet. I will take you tell you the next process after this. After you make it, you're supposed to dry these. Um, and you can put them in the microwave or the oven, or you can just put them on, like, a flat surface like this and air dry them before you store them so they do not mold. So there's a lot of steps into making your own pellets, but I'm gonna tell you guys, nobody else is gonna put comfrey in fish oil. You know, these companies are not doing this when they're making these pellets for our animals. So really for us, we're practicing, we're using the chickens as guinea pigs, but our goal is to make sure we get a pellet for the rabbit. And we will figure it out. And I'm glad we didn't spend $700 on a pelleter and get frustrated. This one costs 120 bucks. That's affordable if you're gonna try to do this and just start. Now I will tell you, they give you two formula feeds for your rabbits. The first one's 22% corn, wheat bran, rice bran, cake, and bean cake. Then they want you to add freshwater fish meal, bone meal, and salt. The next one, formula two, is barley, wheat bran, grass meal, rice bran, bean cake, shell meal, salt, and vitamin additives. So, I mean, personally, I don't think that you could really get it wrong. Like I tell everybody, the problem with pellets that you're buying from the store is the fact that they've been stored for so long and they were heated on extremely high heat which is gonna break down the amino acids. I mean, that is just basic science. So for Steven and I, even if the pellets are not working out the way we want yet, we will figure it out. And for us, it's to eliminate all feed costs because I keep trying to tell y'all, they're gonna push the cost of feed up so expensive. The average homesteader 
and farmstead or and farmer is going to have to keep raising the price of meat to offset the price of feed and you're getting subpar feed trust yourself you know your animals better than anybody else and if you are like us and you really feel like the tractor supply feed and the other feeds were causing chickens not to lay eggs like they normally did then my best advice to you would be to trust yourself take your tax money or whatever christmas money you get put it into a small meal and a small pelleter and we'll share formulas here at starkey farmstead you can email me you can call me i'll answer we can talk about this and as we're making our pellets and we finally figure out like how many cups of this and or pounds of that we're using we'll tell you right now we're just kind of mixing everything up into a five gallon bucket and rolling with it because I trust that my organic vegetables and my comfrey and our fish oil is going to be better than anything they could have gotten anyway. So please like, comment, and subscribe.